Mila, come. Sit. Good girl. Wait. Mila, place. 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 Good girl. All right. We need to do an update. Mila is taking a nap right now. So, cause I just, we just fed her, took her on a walk. And now she's just kind of chilling in her kennel. So I don't want to bring her out. Cause it's, like I said, it's her nap time. But here's an update for you. So she is six and a half months. And uh, she is six, I weighed her today. She's 62 pounds. So she's about on track, uh, on track. And there's been a couple comments and a couple questions that you guys have been asking, such as uh, how do I feed her? How much do I feed her? What kind of food do I feed her? Um, who's my breeder? Um, like daily activities, just kind of things like that. So I'm just hopefully, I'm hoping to kind of go over everything. Uh, but before I get to that, here's a quick little update from her being about six to seven months uh, for the update. So now she's shedding a whole lot. Um, so they are double coated and they, yeah, they may be short hair, but there's hair everywhere and you can't see it, but it was a mess. And so what we ended up doing is we bought a Roomba and we just have that going about two, three times a week and it saves us so much time and it is such a great investment. So I would highly recommend that. Highly recommend getting a Roomba or some robot a vacuum, unless you love vacuuming, then by all means go ahead and do it. But for us, we're very busy people and so that's what we end up doing is we just set that thing off and it'll vacuum up all our hardwood floors it's got it all taken care of and oh it's a lifesaver um all of her baby teeth are gone she's got all of her full teeth are growing in she's getting big very big um and other than that like other than that she's been very good oh uh, and she's been very good um Obviously, she's kind of getting to those adolescent stages, so she's becoming a lot more hyper, a lot more active. And so what I try to do is I try to take her a walk on about two times a day, one during my lunchtime, and then I put her to sleep, and then or, and then one in the evening time when it's cooler outside. And I actually have two different leashes. One thing we started doing was we actually got her a prong collar, because she... She's good on leash, but she just likes to pull, especially when she sees animals, things like that, like her distractions, just out of there. So we decided to get a prong collar, and let me hurry and grab uh, her different types of leashes. All right, so here are the two leashes we use. So this right here is just a regular slip lead. Very easy, see, slip lead. Uh, we use, I use this for her lunch walks because there's not a lot of people outside, very little animals, and it kind of gives her a break and kind of work on her uh, leash training that way. But when we do go to crowds, like we went to a fair a little bit of a go, and then we went to like a convention and stuff, or we go to like a uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, what we do is we, uh, put on this little prong collar and it's been a lifesaver and like what a lot of trainers have said that this is the power steering for dogs and I highly I highly agree with it she was already pretty decent with it but with this on it's like night and day she will not pull she will not leave your side she knows what it is and she's it doesn't hurt the dog whatsoever she actually like gets excited because whenever I pull this out and know she knows that she's going out for a walk so I'll pull this out. She'll sit down right by the front door. I'll put it on and we're good to go. And we'll go on a little walk. She knows not to leave my side. She knows what it is and it's been a lifesaver. So, but of course, uh, it, prong collars aren't for every dog. Sometimes prong collars won't work, but I recommend it. Uh, it's been very, very helpful and I won't go back honestly like i said i only use this when we go into like big public spaces things like that to kind of put her in a lot more control uh and for her to just uh, help control her all, a little bit easier but if we're not if we're just doing a simple walk around the neighborhood during the day but you know not gonna be a whole lot of people or we're going out to the beach or something then good old slip lead is what i use okay 
So that's updates on her. Uh, oh, she also started her fear stages. So that's been very fun because so what a fear stage is, is like something in the brain just like clicks and they will start being scared of everything. So, or not just everything, but just scared of like very specific things. So for instance, we were on a walk and she saw a garbage can with some weed sticking out of it. And she's passed by that garbage can multiple times, but something triggered in her mind and she went into flight mode. She, uh, <laughs> she started barking at it. She got really defensive. She would run away from it. And so what I ended up doing is I uh, took her away from the environment and then when we got a safe distance away where she could like see it, I had her sit down and have her just look at it and have her calm down like, see, you're okay, nothing's all right, everything's gonna be okay. And then we continue on with our walk. So that's the big thing about uh, when we go through these little fear stages is don't try to force them to be like, no, it's fine. Like, hey, look at it, it's like getting near and things like that. Like they're obviously scared of it. And I, and as a dog owner, I don't want them to be traumatized by that object. So what I did is I, like I said, I just took her away from it. Once I got a safe distance away where she can see it, I had her sit down I can tell she's like calmed down and how to just kind of look at it and be like, okay, see, things are all right. We're okay. And we just continue on with our walk. So that's how I've been dealing with it. And so far it's been really good. We've passed by that garbage can multiple times and it hasn't triggered her uh, once. So it's been very good. Okay. Now let's go to answer the commenters' questions. Um, those who are getting a Swissy, uh, who's my breeder, who do I get it from? Um, my breeder, uh, I don't know if I, she wants to be publicly announced on this one, but uh, if you have questions about the breeder, you can uh, direct message me and I'll be happy to give her information, things like that. But my breeder was very, very good. She gave us like a full on binder of like uh, all of her genetics, uh, dog training techniques, socialization ideas, all these different things to help us out uh, raise her to be the best dog there is. And so far it's been really good. Every person we've ran into, they've loved her. They said she's uh, very well tempered, very well mannered for a six month old puppy. All, well, they actually get shocked <laughs> for them because they're like, well, she's six months old and she's already huge. So, um, very be very picky on picking your breeder and if you want i can make a totally separate video about picking a breeder and what to look out for um and then for our food so our breeder recommended that we feed her three meals a day one cup of kibble and nothing super high protein because we found out with her that she eats a lot of high protein she gets uh diarrhea uh diarrhea and it doesn't it upsets her stomach a little bit so what we do is we get like a mid-grade uh, food for her and it works just fine. Uh, so we get like Victor's or if you go to Costco, they have like the, the brand there, just get the puppy brand. And we feed her three times a day, one during uh, morning, one during lunch, one during dinner. And we just give her a cup of that and she's doing just fine. Every once in a while, we'll give her some other snacks, like we'll crack maybe a raw, a raw egg on it, give her a full raw egg, uh, help out with her coat. We'll feed her table scraps every once in a while. But the key with when you feed them table scraps, is you need to make them work for it. So you don't just like lay your, don't just have them sit by you and just start feeding them. That's not okay. At least that's what I think. So if she's begging, then I'll ignore her. And then when I feel like, okay, I'm gonna give her a table scrap, I'll make her work for it. So I'll move away from the kitchen. I'll have her sit down. I'll have her lay down, look at me, give me eye contact, and then I'll give her some table scraps. So. That's, I think it's totally perfectly fine, but everyone has their own opinions on it. That's what we do for our dog and she's doing just fine. She's not a huge beggar, but she knows that she needs to work for the food if we're gonna give her some stuff. So it's been very helpful. Um, let's see, we do feed her some raw food every once in a while. So we live by a butcher. And so what we'll do is we'll get like some beef bones or like a beef knuckle or, or things like that and we'll just have her uh, chew on it. Obviously we have to monitor her and we give it to her about well, maybe once a week. And we just monitor her and once she's gone off all like the sinew and like all like the leftover meat on the bone and then when she starts actually like cracking at the bone, that's when we take it away because the, the bone can, with beef bones, they can uh, harm the teeth. So we just have to monitor her and make sure she's doing okay. And once it gets down to a certain level, just throw it away and after that, she is a happy camper. But other than that, 
uh, Mila's a freaking joy. We love her to death. The neighbors love her. Everyone knows who she is. She's a freaking rock star and a star uh, in the neighborhood and around the, the counties that we live in because no one's ever seen a dog like her, especially her size uh, and also well-mannered. So, well, that's our little update. If you have any questions, uh, uh, things you want me to go over, uh, leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video about specifically about how to pick a breeder, and especially with this specific uh, breed and then i'll make some other videos uh I'll, I'll make some additional informational videos such as uh exercise uh health concerns all those different things so let us know which uh what you'll be interested in and i'll be happy to make a video all right see ya